Well, hello everybody. This is David with DavidJamesVisuals.com. Uh, thanks for watching. This is kind of my first video of a series I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, and it's going to be a couple things. I'm going to cover shooting, um, post-production, workflow, uh, mistakes I have made, things that you can prevent in your businesses and shooting portraits, weddings, or anything that you might be shooting. So I think it's going to be fun. So make sure to subscribe, share the video, um, and we're going to have a good time, I hope. <laughs> the first thing we're going to talk about today is data management when you're shooting. Not when you're back at home and whatnot, but when you're shooting. So that means when you have CF cards or SD cards, whatever you're using in your camera, how are you putting them from your camera into a pouch? Or what? what is your process? What... Uh, how are you doing it? Um, because for me, I have a horror story of a wedding I shot a long time ago, probably about four, or three, three or four years ago, where I was using one of these, uh, and I'm sure a lot of you guys use these, and maybe after this video you're going to trash them. Maybe we can all burn them together. Just a typical neoprene SD card, CF card case, uh, not waterproof at all, not crush proof, uh, obviously. Um, so my, this was, this is what I did. I used to use that to store my CF cards when I would be at weddings. I would shoot, fill up an eight gig card, throw it in there. And that would typically be strapped to my side of my belt or something. Okay. So I was at this wedding. Uh, the wedding is completely done. It was a long day, probably about a t 10 to 12 hour day. And we're getting in our car, we're loading our gear reception's about to be done. And I remember uh, vaguely un unclipping the Velcro. Uh, as we're loading all of, our, all of our gear in, and I must have dropped it. Uh, so I, I, I dropped it with all of my CF cards. Nothing had been backed up yet. All of my CF cards from the whole day. All my photos. <laughs> and so I get home, and I start to panic because I was going to upload all the images onto my computer and back them up. So I have to drive back. It was about an hour-long drive. Uh, and my heart is beating. It's probably about 2 a.m. We get there. We search for hours. We can't find anything. We contact the hotel. We let them know, if you find anything, please tell me. Call me immediately. Uh, sh long story short, they called me the next day. They found it in the grass. Um, I rode my bike up there, went way too fast, found it, and delivered the images. And nothing ever happened. And the bride never knew about it. Um, and so here's a couple lessons that I learned about this. Uh, a, you can never be too safe with your CF cards or SD cards, all of your photos of the wedding. You need to protect those with your life. If you have an opportunity, back them up at the wedding and then have two separate copies, one with you and then maybe one with your second shooter or your some whoever else is with you in the back of your trunk, anywhere. So now this is the problem I found with those neoprene pouches. They're not waterproof. So if you were to make a mistake, if you were to drop your CF cards and SD cards, and I know some SD cards are waterproof, but still, do you even want to risk it? <laughs> so I didn't like that because it wasn't waterproof. It wasn't crush proof. So if I did drop it accidentally, I step on it, I drop it in a pond or I drop it in grass overnight like I did. If the sprinklers turn on, what happens in my photos? Um, I don't know. I don't really want to find out. So my solution now <laughs> is one of these little Pelican CF card, SD card holder. Uh, this thing is great. It is very hard. It's crush proof. You cannot make it flex. Uh, you open it up. I'm sure a lot of people already have these, but man, I, I, I live by this thing. I love it. So you open it up and you have all your CF cards in there. Um, and it's great. It's got a seal on it. It's waterproof. I can jump on this all day and nothing's going to happen. I can throw it in the pond and hopefully, most likely, it's going to keep everything dry. Uh, so my workflow for the day now is this thing right here stays attached to my belt loop all day until I get home. I don't care if I go to the bathroom. I don't care if I go out to eat after the wedding. This is on me. And man, I am checking to make sure it's on me 24-7. So... The workflow through the day, what I do with CF cards is when I pull a card out of my camera, I'll typically 
if it is if it is full and it's it's already been used, I put it backwards. Okay. So any card that is backwards in here means it's used. Don't even try to use it. If you're panicking and you need a new CF card, don't touch that one. Go to the other ones. Uh, and then once I get home, when I upload these onto my computer and I know they're uploaded, I turn it sideways. So now I know it's uploaded and it's good to go. Um, and so this is kind of, this is my, my new thing. This is what I've been doing attached to me all day. And man, I, I've loved it. It's, uh, I don't have to worry about crushing it. Somebody hitting me, I don't know, uh, at the reception, somebody pouring a drink on me, you know, weddings are crazy. And so the last thing you want to worry about are your photos. Um, and you don't want the couple to have to worry about this. If you ever make a mistake and tell them that, Hey, I lost all your photos. Da, 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 play me out, Jimmy. Like what, what do you do it? I, I don't want anybody to ever get in that situation. So listen, this thing, I mean, again, it doesn't have to be something like this, but just trust me, something around these lines as far as hard case, waterproof, and you can put some type of string or chain or anything tied to you, it will just, it's just peace of mind. And that's, I love peace of mind, especially shooting weddings, folks, especially shooting weddings. So... Um, this is my first video. Uh, let me know how, how you like it. I, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff, talking about lens choices, uh, camera bodies, lighting, um, and dealing with couples, posing. Man, so there's so many topics to cover. So I think it's going to be fun. So like this, comment on it, uh, tell me what you think about it, share it, subscribe, and we're going to keep them coming, and I think it's going to be fun. So stay tuned.